Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. Colombian boas may well be my all-time favorite type of locality or pet boa, and there are numerous advantages to these types of animals that originate from Colombia. Whenever a new boa keeper tells me that they want a pet boa, it's the number one type that I recommend. So today I wanted to show you a couple of the different types of Colombian boas I work with, give an update on their growth in my breeding progress, and just tell you why I like these animals so much. So I have two types of Colombian boa, and this is a 2020 baby from the first type, or first bloodline really. This is called a Coupes Pastel boa. And this is a bloodline of boas that was started by a man in Europe. And he basically had some pure Colombian boas that were really nicely colored, lots of nicest oranges and reds and pastel colors. He bred them together and then selected the most colorful in the next generation. And then he grew the most colorful offspring up and repeated the process. So every generation, they were more and more colorful. Vin Russo, the noted locality boa breeder, continued the project and took it through a few more generations. I have my animals that originated from Vin Russo. I've had just one litter so far, but I'm really amazed by the results. They're just this beautiful orange salmon color. This is my holdback uh, male from 2020, or 2021 rather. Um, actually, 2022, I keep losing track of the year. We're in 2024 now. It's 2022 or the babies. So this guy is about a year and a half old. And uh, what I love about Colombian boas is they're just such a great species or type of boa, both from a temperament and from a looks and husbandry perspective. They're great to handle, they're chill, but they do hold on, but not too tightly. They're inquisitive, they explore. They seem to be one of the more intelligent types of boas. And they're just so beautiful to look at. And the Coupes Pastel, these are great animals. I am actually breeding my pair right now that produce this female. And with any luck, we'll have another litter of these Pastel Beauties in a few months over the summer. Just a great animal to work with, the Coupes Pastel Colombian Boa. Let me show you my other holdback. This is my holdback female Coupes Pastel. As you can see, she's in shed right now. She looks all cloudy looking and her colors are kind of muted, unfortunately but she'll be a lot more colorful after she sheds. But you can see she's pretty similar to the male. This is beautiful orange salmon pastel color. And my female is really, my adult female is very, very orange, kind of a deep orange. Um, so, you know, I, these babies really take after the mother that I held back. And so with any luck, when they're old enough, we'll have even more intensely colored babies in the next generation. And these animals, they get to about five or about six to seven feet on average. They, you know, probably could get up, uh, probably eight feet would be about the maximum. My adults, um, my females, probably about six and a half or seven. Males about six feet. And they're, what, 2015 babies. So they're now, I guess, uh, nine years old. And just, uh, you know, again, great animal to work with. If you're new to boas and you want a really chill pet that's going to be beautiful looking, easy to care for, and enjoyable to handle. So those Coupes Pastel boas are pure Colombian. They're not really associated with any specific locality. The next type of Colombian boa I work with is the Branchia Colombia boa, supposedly from the town of Branchia on the coast in northern Colombia. And these are from the Rio Bravo bloodline. I've got a really nice trio that was bred by my buddy Michael Beach, born in 2020. And they're doing really great. This is my one of my females. Just really amazing, intense salmon orange strawberry coloration. Just a super colorful animal. She's actually also quite, she's getting quite large. I'd say she's probably about five, five and a half feet now. Really chunky boa, really muscular and definitely putting on that adult musculature. And so these are not true red tails. They're boa imperator. Um, however, I love these animals just as much, if not more than the true red tails. And as far as my localities, this may w very well be my favorite locality boa. Although, you know, I'm constantly my, changing my mind on that. 
but just great great animals really impressive to look at very docile to handle but you know definitely gives you the boa constrictor experience these aren't dwarf boas this female will probably put on another couple feet and probably max out at i'm guessing around seven feet although michael's told me that some of his breeders are small they're only like you know four or five feet even but uh, this female clearly looks like she's going to get bigger than that she has already exceeded that so i imagine she'll probably reach seven maybe even eight feet but just great animal i imagine i probably won't be breeding these for another couple years till they're at least five years old but i'm just enjoying them and you know this one is particularly colorful This is my, my other female, Branchia boa. And unfortunately she's in shed right now, so her colors are kind of muted. But this one, she's not quite as colorful as the first female I showed you, but she's got this really beautiful, really crisp, well-formed pattern. I just love the shape of the saddle. She's got this round, these round oval spaces between her saddles. And the saddles have this really nice, bold, white dash on each side. Just a really beautiful combination of color and pattern in this one and I was always going back and forth between which one I like better I never could really make up my mind either this one or the female I just showed you but they're both so nice in their own way and uh, just enjoying having these animals in my collection the branchia columbia boa and my third branchia uh, columbia boa imperator this is my male this guy, maybe a little bit smaller than the females, kind of a lightish coloration. But just, you know, another really nice looking example of the Branchia columbia boa. And these are not red tails, they're not true red tails. They're often referred to as Colombian red tails or even pet store red tails, just for Colombians in general. Uh, they do have a reddish tail, you can see. It's not quite as red or, you know, bright red or crisp as the true red tail. But nonetheless, a you know, beautiful looking animal and very impressive appearance in its own right. And so I showed you two specific bloodlines of boas, the Couth Pastel and the Rio Bravo Branchia. But there are lots of Colombian boas out there that don't have a specific bloodline. They're just as great to have as a pet and often just as beautiful. So don't be obsessed with the labels of the boa. If you go to a pet shop or even your local humane society, there's a very good chance they have a boa that's, if not pure Colombian, largely Colombian in origin, which makes a great pet and is looking for a new home. So I would recommend if you're looking to get a boa and you want a great pet, definitely check out a local animal rescue or humane society. They don't always have boas, but they sometimes do. And chances are, if they do, it's gonna be a Colombian type boa constrictor imperator or boa imperator you don't even need to be obsessed about the bloodline or the locality it's just a pet boa that's going to make a great pet um you know or even you know your local pet shop might have a generic colombian type boa again you don't need to be obsessed with the locality or even if it's pure colombian you're looking to get a pet boa um, which as a pet is going to be every bit as good as these beautiful branchias and Coops Pastels. Of course, if you want to go for the name and get a pure bloodline, you can do that also. Uh, but, you know, no need to do that if you want a pet boa. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed looking at these Colombian boas. You got an idea about what's coming down the pipeline uh, this summer and, you know, in a few years ahead. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email or comment below. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.